Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television just before 7 o'clock. Thanks for starting your day with us. A big day for many students in the province. It is the last official day of school. Well, that may have some parents cringing. I'm sure there are lots of students cheering today. So lots of energy in the air. And of course, we're gearing up for the long weekend. Monday, Canada turns 146 years old, believe it or not. And there's lots of great things happening. Fireworks show, live music, family fun. So we're going to bring you up to speed on everything that's happening in the city. Jeremy's live at Assiniboine Park. We're going to check in with him a little bit. She's down there with Chef Rob as well, getting some long weekend recipes. And Jenna, just outside at the Forks, gearing up for the weekend ahead. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Courtney. Things looking a little bit slow and a little empty right now, but come Monday, this is going to be one of the biggest parties in the city. Well, let's talk weather for a second because we need the weather to cooperate. It is looking a little bit gray out here at this time of the morning, but we are looking to see a whole lot of sunshine for us this weekend. Well, that's good. As long as it's nice when we're out there celebrating, that's all it counts. That's right. Right now in Winnipeg, sitting at 17 degrees this morning, under mostly cloudy skies. Relative humidity is at 88%. We're really feeling a little sticky out here this morning, and wind is out of the north-northwest at 14 kilometers an hour. Time now for your Lake Country weather forecast. If you are headed out to Cottage Country, Lake Country weather is brought to you by Tourism Kenora. North America's premier boating destination. And as we take a look at Clear Lake, if you're headed west to the Riding Mountain National Park area, 27 and sunny on your Saturday and on your Sunday as well. Lots of gorgeous temperatures coming your way in the Riding Mountain area. Moving to Lake Winnipeg in Gimli and Grand Beach today. Temperatures around the mid to high 20s. A slight chance for showers on Saturday in Gimli. And then sunshine in both Gimli and Grand Beach with highs around 28 for Grand Beach with sunshine on Sunday. On Falcon, if we move to Falcon Lake now in the white shell, 26 with partly cloudy skies on Saturday and on Sunday a high of 27 with sunshine. Looking to the Lake of the Woods area now, Kenora to see temperatures in the mid 20s. Same thing for Manaki and Suneros on Saturday. Mix of sun and cloud in Kenora and then moving to Sunday, temperatures once again around 25 degrees for, Ken for Kenora, Manaki and Suneros with sunny skies do have your extended details as well as your traffic update as far as what's coming up here in the city for the weekend. The good news is it's sunshine and Claire McKay from the Forks Market joins us this morning. Thanks so much for being here Thank and you. getting ready for the party with us. Yeah, we're starting to get excited. You know, it's just a couple of days away and we're starting to get ready. Well, and this is really always just the place to be as far as entertainment goes. Three stages this year and one of them is going to be powered by stationary bicycle. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, we tried it out a couple of weeks ago. We definitely know it works. Uh, so the rail bridge stage is actually going to be powered by people on their bikes. Is it specific people, people from the crowd who say, hey, I'll ride a bike for a bit? Anybody who wants to ride a bike, and we're going to need four at any given time to power those uh, amps. So we're hoping everybody will come out with their bike and actually help us power that performance. There you go. So visit the rail bridge stage so that Claire does not have to be the only exactly. one bicycling exactly. all day. <laughs> Entertainment kicks off at 1 o'clock. Three stages, as we mentioned, right here under the canopy is going to be one of them. Uh, Manitoba music, it's all local music. Why did the Forks decide to, to do something local for, for the last few years rather than maybe source out someone, someone uh, nationally or internationally? Well, we have such great talent locally, and Manitoba music has been such a wonderful partner in providing us with you know young up-and-comers, people who are well-established. I mean, this year we have Imaginary Cities, who I think have just completed a tour. Um, and so they're doing fantastically across Canada. Canada, and it's great to be able to bring them home on Canada Day. And uh, we're going to hear a set from the uh, from Imaginary Cities, and then they're going to be joined by the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra right before the fireworks, which is something you guys have been doing for the last few years as well. Yeah, yeah, and that's a wonderful collaboration. I think it's great for the bands. It's great for the WSO. Um, we get three songs scored uh, by the band with the full Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra, all 70 members, um, and then we lead into the you know the best part of the night, which is the fireworks at 11 o'clock. Yeah, definitely an explosive show. I think we can call very it that much very so, easily. Yeah. Um, just as far as transportation goes getting here we generally advise and encourage people to walk bike ride the bus stuff like that yeah I mean it gets we have about a hundred thousand people on our busiest uh, Canada days throughout the day so it is definitely advisable to either think about parking somewhere else in the downtown uh, or ride your bike or um, or come in through transit but uh, definitely think about that before you come in and we do have a bike valet service here that that's free where you can leave your bike in a secure area just in front of the cabooses so it's a and it's 
Yeah, it'll be a fantastic day. So what a great day to ride your bike. Definitely. It's going to be 28 and sunny. You heard it from the weather girl. Big games is a new aspect uh, joining the Forks celebrations on Canada Day. And it's exactly that big games. We're going to hear more about that coming up on BT. Thanks so much, Claire. Thank you. Stay with us.